Hey, I'm Ditech, and I like to mess around with computers, and I happen to get my hands on this fan controller. It's designed to fit into a five and a quarter inch bay, which is usually where you would put your optical drive. So because this thing is going to be sticking out the side of your case, they tried to make it as aesthetically pleasing as they could. The actual function of this thing, besides just making your case look cool, is that it allows you to have control over how much voltage you're feeding each of your three fans that are connected to it. And so you'll be able to change the temperatures of all of your components on the fly and get it exactly where you want it to be between being quiet and being cool without having to mess around with any software or anything. So I'm just going to show you how this thing works and how to install it. And then afterwards, I kind of want to take it apart and see how easy it is to modify. Because if you have a case that's not black and you still wanted a fan controller, it would be great if you could change the color of this thing to match whatever kind of aesthetic you wanted. And I'm definitely going to take off points if this thing is not moddable. What am I saying? Everything is moddable. But if it was easy to change the color, that would be a giant plus in my book. When you first open up the Polaris box, you'll find an instruction manual, the fan controller itself, four temperature sensors, one of which is a spare, three sleeved fan cable extensions, and some double-sided tape that's meant to just help you attach the temperature sensors to random stuff. It is nice to have an instruction manual just for peace of mind, but I didn't use it really at all when assembling this thing. Everything is clearly marked on the fan controller itself, and putting the cables to where they're supposed to go is really straightforward. You don't even need to use the fan extension cables if you don't want to, but if you're hooking up like a rear exhaust fan or something in an atypical spot, then you might find it useful. The controller is powered by a SATA cable that comes straight from your power supply, so using your motherboard fan headers is not at all necessary. I know a lot of motherboards out there don't have too many fan headers, and if you're trying to power a whole bunch of fans, this is a pretty sweet way of working around that issue. In fact, in a lot of people's cases, there's only two intake fans and one exhaust fan, and since that number of fans is perfect for this controller, there's really not even a reason to run any fan cables into the visible part of your case, which can really help you with the cable management aesthetics. The best practice for the temperature sensors is probably to put them sort of near the fan that they correspond to. As you can see, these sensors do work pretty well, and you can change the readout to be either Fahrenheit or Celsius. The controller speeds up or slows down your fans by feeding them more or less power, and this has the side effect of making your fan LEDs more or less bright depending on how much voltage they're being fed. You can get around that issue by having a fan that connects twice to your motherboard, like one for an RGB header and one for a fan header, but that kind of defeats the purpose of using this device to clean up your cable management. I would personally still use hardware controlled fans like this one just because being able to avoid using buggy software is pretty valuable to me. Installing this controller into your actual case really couldn't be very much easier. You just kind of slide it in and screw it on or otherwise attach it just the same exact way you do with an optical drive. Now, this fan controller does look really good in the original color, but it only does come in one color, which is black. And if you're really color conscious and you have a different color case and you just need it to be a different color, then you have to paint it. I took the thing apart just to see what it looks like on the inside and how easy it would be to paint, and it turns out it's pretty easy. All you really need is a screwdriver and some painter's tape and spray paint, and you'll be able to make this thing whatever color you want. In fact, it's so easy to take apart that if you just have a screwdriver and you just go at it, you'll figure it out without even having to watch this video. The knobs on the front can be pulled off without actually taking apart anything at all, and then there's just two screws behind the front-facing PCB that you have to unscrew in order to take that front face plate off. You really don't have to disassemble the entire thing, but I did it just because that's just what I do. You obviously don't want to paint over the area where the information is displayed, so I just taped that off with some painter's tape and cut it down to size with a razor knife just so that it looked nice. It was really easy to do, and that's pretty much all you're going to need painter's tape for. As for painting, I typically just use Rust-Oleum enamel paint to paint all of my computer stuff, just because it sticks to plastic and metal, and it's non-conductive. Plus, I can get it from just local hardware stores around my area, and there's plenty of colors to choose from. Then, once the color looks good, just wait about 24 hours for everything to fully dry, just so it's a lot harder to scratch, and then just reassemble it. But, like I said earlier, it does look pretty good in black, just its default color, so you probably won't even need to paint it.
So hopefully this video helped you decide whether or not you want to get this particular fan controller if that's what you're looking for. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and check the description for a whole bunch of my social media accounts like Instagram and Patreon and Discord and that kind of thing. And I may just be using this thing in a case mod sometime in the future, so that's pretty exciting. So anyway, I will see you in the next one.